Well, it takes time for people to understand what the boundaries of the local are. I think we learned that we could uh, we, we could make we could write songs, and it became very interesting to write songs that meant something to people. You know? When you play festivals, I remember a few years ago we uh, it was a time it was a time that the time is now came out. And we played Glastonbury, and you know, there was a lot of people out there, and they're all singing the words, you know. And you think, you know, that, that's, that's a really worthwhile thing to be doing. That's really satisfying that you can write a song and it can mean something to people's lives. You know, that they remember, say, a summer, you know, or uh, a special time. Because of a song you've written, that's, that's an amazing thing to do. Um, Statues, I think, is a special album because it was an album that we didn't know if we were going to finish, you know. It was, um, you know, it, it took us about a year to be able to speak to each other. <laughs> and, uh, and then we finally got started, you know. And, and I think, you know, because it was so kind of hard to, to, to get this record finished that we thought, well, we're going to make it. Uh, uh, very epic recording, uh, so hence all the arrangements and the strings and we just got deeper and deeper and deeper into the record. We, was, we, was, we, we spent like two weeks doing this one string arrangement for a song called Over and Over and then, um, you know, when you, you sort of, you, it has to be right because there's no room for any mistakes when there's 30 string players there, you know, you can't go, oh, I'm not sure about that bit, it has to be played once, you know, and uh, it's like having the most amazing private concert, you know. We have, to, we have to obviously interpret the song slightly differently. We don't have an orchestra with us, obviously. Nice specialities is what happens in the studio. Um, and Roisin is, is Roisin, you know. If you see the live show, she's, a, she's an incredible performer. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot, of, a big part of what she is, you know. Um, and it keeps, it's, it's just the way that she is, so it's, it's not. I mean, she, I think she's quite creative. I mean, the, the Forevermore video, for example, where she just danced and then they, they got a lot of people to copy her moves. You know, it was quite, that was her idea and it was, it was quite an interesting one. It's always uh, a bit of an adventure when you, when you start writing music. You never know where you're going to end up. Because you sit down, you start writing, writing some music, and you think it's going to be this way, and it steers you in a completely different place. When we first met, we were making, you know, silly records because we were having a, a silly time, you know. And uh, uh, as, as the years go by, you change. I saw your face.